time with Abby while dad holds the baby and I have my donut to sit on because I can't sit on the chair without it. Um, I am having a hard time balancing having two kids right now because I want to make sure that Abby's getting enough of my attention. So we are figuring it out. It has been such an adjustment having to. One last time at the end of the night, I'll go and clean any bottles from me pumping, any pump parts. My hands are so dry from being in the water multiple times a day washing bottles and things. So this was filmed when Elena was a week old and I do things differently now that it's been four weeks. This was the sterilizer I was using and putting it in the microwave. I got a Baby Brezza sterilizer and dryer and it has been life changing having that. So in a future video I will show that because it's worth sharing. So dad has baby while I'm uh, doing all these things just to show where baby is. I'm running the dishwasher for the night. I run it like every two days, three days maybe. Putting all my pump parts together, getting them ready to go upstairs so I have them at night. And I'm just organizing everything and putting things away to make life a little bit easier. I actually did stop pumping at night so now I only pump during the day and at night I bought like four hakas to have and those things are amazing so when she feeds at night I just pop one on the other boob so it catches the letdown and I catch a good amount with it. So feeding baby and I am pumping on the other side with my mom cozy and I do really like that pump and then I brought her upstairs and changed her to get her ready for the night and those are products that I like to use on her. Isn't she so cute? She definitely looks more Asian like her dad. So her dad's a uh, full Korean and then I'm white so uh, we have a little Asian baby. <laughs> so then she fell asleep so I just have her in my arms. So tiny. <laughs> so we went back downstairs and uh, I ordered pads to put her on now, so I'm not using this blue thing anymore. I actually brought this from the hospital because I was bleeding so much, so I had this on my bed, but I don't use this anymore. I got changing pads now for when she's uh, downstairs to lay her on and change her. So I'm just getting her into her pajamas for the night. Guys, I want Abby showing stuff to the camera. <laughs> she is my little helper though. Like, <laughs> she helps me out a lot with the baby. She'll bring me all the things like diaper, the diaper rash Abby, cream and wipes. And then uh, she'll bring over Check baby dolls fingers. and change them next to me while I'm changing her sister and it's adorable. I'll have to get that on video one day. <laughs> this onesie was actually Abby's when she was a baby and uh, she's already outgrowing newborn outfits, but how cute. It also makes me so emotional uh, seeing Alina in Abby's outfits that she once wore. But here I am putting Alina in her swaddle. This was the happiest baby swaddle. I think that's what it was called. But we don't use this one anymore. Didn't really like it. Um, Alina doesn't really even like being swaddled. I have to do an updated video because things changed a lot from when I filmed this. Because right now she's four weeks old. So this was three weeks ago. And things, the routine has changed a lot. Right, baby. Yeah. That being said, this was how things were when she was one week old, so. <laughs> I uh, just brought Abby's toothbrush downstairs this one specific night because she was playing and I didn't want to have to bring her upstairs to brush her teeth, so I just did it downstairs. Dad multitasking with baby and trying to play with Abby again. We are trying our hardest with two kids now. I mean, it'll get easier as baby gets older, but right now, it's an adjustment. <laughs> so I am breastfeeding, but I make it a point to give Elena a bottle at least once or twice a day so dad can help me out and uh, she won't refuse a bottle one day because I don't know how long I plan on breastfeeding for. I am making a supply right now so that I can bottle feed her only one day. I don't know how it'll all play out and when that will happen exactly, but just so we have the option. So 
so it's around like 9 30 getting everybody to bed I before baby was here was getting Abby to bed between 8 30 and 9 o'clock she's been going to bed later now since baby got here because things just changed so much I'm sure that we'll all get into like a good routine eventually one day but it's just so early on I love the face that Elena makes when she's getting burped. I just think it's so cute. <laughs> Here's my pumps I got lined up upstairs ready for me to grab at night. And I did actually have a haka too. <laughs> so I walked around the house in circles and here I am rocking her and patting her to try to get her to settle down and go to sleep. So at 10 o'clock I heard Elena take a big poo. Um, she poops so loudly, um, so here I am, changing her. <laughs> yeah. So after all that, I got into bed and then I fed her again before putting her down again. At this point, being only one week postpartum and having a bad tear like I did again, Getting in and out of bed was so hard because it's so sore down there. <laughs> so, 11.08, Elena woke up crying again to eat. She was cluster feeding a lot at one week old, but um, I think it was a good thing because that's how your supply builds up, so she was eating very often, as you can tell. I did film some of these clips on my camera and some on my phone, so I think I'm getting my clips all mixed up. So I won't do that next time, but I'm learning as I go making these videos. Here I am burping her and sometimes I feel like it takes forever for that burp to come out. And my husband is way better at burping than I am. So he'll wake up at night and uh, burp her for me sometimes. <laughs> Here we are feeding again around 12 a.m. <laughs> like I just fed her not that long ago, but again, Cluster feeding at its finest, and then we're back at 12.45. <laughs> so at 2 a.m., uh, we got a little bit more sleep, and I am pumping on one side while she feeds on the other one, and then we are burping her. <laughs> Here's her in her bassinet, and we have been really liking this bassinet, and I think that she likes the movement that it makes. And I finished pumping after I put her back down. <laughs> after pumping, I have to go downstairs to put my milk in the fridge. But your milk is good for four hours left out, but I just like to make sure that nothing's gonna happen to it. So I just walk down and put it in the fridge. And at 5 a.m. she woke up to feed, so here I am feeding her. <laughs> and then I did film this time that we changed her at night. There was a couple other times that we did change her at night, so don't think that we didn't. I just didn't film them. I don't know how people make these videos and they do them so good because like I'm like half asleep at night and I forgot to like record some things but here's one of the times that I changed her. <laughs> the next time I do one of these videos I will um, try to do it better. This is my first time again so I'll improve as I go along. I know you can barely see us but dad is up to helping me change her and then he does burp burp for me. Uh, he does get up and always ask me if I need anything if I need help in any way, so he does get up and ask this. <laughs> so Elena went back to sleep at about 5.30 and this was the long stretch of sleep that she gave me because she slept until 8 a.m. then. <laughs> so waking up in the morning, the first thing I do is change her diaper. My other boob was leaking so I went and grabbed my pump to throw that on there to grab all that milk that was coming out. <laughs> she pooped shortly after so here we are changing her diaper again <laughs> and Abby is uh, still sleeping over there. <laughs> After she was fed and changed and everything, I handed her off to dad so that I can uh, go take care of me because uh, I had a lot of postpartum things to do 
like go take my sits bath and change my pad and put ice down there and all that good stuff. <laughs> Abby always wakes up with the craziest hair. Girlfriend has such crazy hair anyways, but <laughs> then we're all hanging out in bed together before we head downstairs and giving Abby some loving. <laughs> Abby is turning three in a couple days and I can't believe how big she is and she especially looks so much bigger to me. Since bringing a newborn home, I was like, oh my goodness, I can't believe how big Abby is. She's such a big girl now. <laughs> So we head downstairs and I'm emptying out the dishwasher. I'm pretty sure Alex is making his pre-workout or something. Getting ready, yeah he is. And getting ready to work out. And I'm just getting the kitchen like organized. But every time I organize and clean the kitchen, it becomes a disaster so quickly. And it's like just the never ending cycle of cleaning things. I'll probably do a full morning routine or day in the life videos as well too so look out for those again I'm doing this voiceover three weeks later so like looking back it's like so crazy how things have changed so much already with her being a month old now compared to being one week old now. so this video is like a learning lesson for me and next time I hope to do better at one of these <laughs>